let's go back in time to June 2019. There are reports on the internet about a group named Discord GGGA. No, that's a terrible name. We're calling them Discord Ga from now on. Discord Ga was a hack that was able to claim the credentials of over 2,000 Discord users. But before we get into what they did, we have to first explain what a phishing site is. You see, a phishing site is a site designed to look like a legitimate link when it's not. For example, if I were to try to trick you into believing I'm linking you to Steam, I would link you to a website that looks similar to the legitimate URL. For example, instead of linking you to steamcommunity.com, I would link you to, like, steamconmunity.com. The website would look similar to the actual Steam, but it's actually created with the intention to trick you into giving me your credentials. You then enter your credentials into what you thought was Steam, but you really entered it into my database, where I will take your account and never ever give it back. And, better yet, I'll have a place to play Honey Pop in peace. But seriously, that's the intention Discord GGGA was created with. It was a site designed to act, look, and run like Discord, but it wasn't actually Discord. And now, picture this. You log into Discord one day and see a new DM from a close friend of yours, someone you trust telling you, hey, I have a referral link for Discord Nitro for you completely free. Please apply it. Please, please, please apply, apply it. it. You say, ah, why the hell not? It looks like a Discord link, and it even has a little Discord preview thing, so why not treat myself to a nice free Discord Nitro? You enter your credentials on in the website that looks exactly like Discord, and nothing. You don't get Nitro and you lose your Discord account, and you've given it to a completely random website on the internet that happened to look like Discord, but definitely wasn't. Now this may sound like a stupid mistake to make, I mean, I hope most people would probably check the URL before they do something like this, but this affected over 2,500 users on Discord. So even though it may seem stupid to someone like me or you to not double check the URL, it works. It works all the time. That's why these things are still around. The reason it spreads so much is because when you give them your credentials in the website, a bot takes it, locks you out of your account, and then sends the same scam link to everyone in your friends list. Now look, a guy like me where the only thing he has to hide in his discord is his 10 terabytes of hentai, wouldn't be too angry if someone got into my account, the fuck are they gonna find? But there are people who own huge servers and have sensitive information on their accounts I'm sure they wouldn't want stolen. But hey, that's life, and if the story had ended there, I wouldn't be making a video on it. Big phishing scams happen all the time, and unfortunately, this would have just been another one. But the story didn't end there. Around a month after the phishing link blew up, Discord GGGA changed their website with the message, thought we were gone? Think again. The 27th of July will be a big day. And they attached a cute gif of Felix the Cat walking and singing. God, look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. On July 17th, 2019, a tweet covering the website changes blew up and reached over 8,000 retweets and 7,000 likes. This got a lot of people worried, and the common rumor of what they were going to do on the date specified was hack Discord as a whole and take the entire website down. People were saying if you logged on, you would get hacked and your account would be stolen if you just went on Discord. They were going to they were gonna nuke it, goddammit. They were going to take that shit down. Fast forward one day later, and Discord Ga realizes they may not be as famous as they may think, and may not be able to stay relevant until July 27th. Since they weren't actually going to hack and take down Discord like the rumors were stating, they decided they'd just start early and do what they were going to do on the 27th, today. Discord Ga released every single legitimate username and password that they collected to the public for everyone to see, totaling to 2,522 valid logins. They also left a note stating, well, it looks like we made a mockery out of Discord and its idiotic users. How stupid do you have to be to fall for an obvious phishing website in 2019? This was no virus, worm, or malware of any sort. It was a simple old phishing site that utilizes Discord's own moronic API. I hope this is a lesson for you all. Discord Ga also revealed a way that Discord could have stopped them from being able to distribute these scams at all, and also revealed that the way they did try to stop them only blocked them for 10 minutes before they could work around it. And I want to say first, if you were affected by the scam, you should change your password because it's almost definitely on their website, or at least was on their website. If you go to discordgg.ga now, their website doesn't exist anymore. After all the commotion that they caused and dumping all the data that they gathered, they disappeared. Their work here was done. 
as so is mine, because that's the last time up until this point that we've heard of Discord God, and it's been a good few months. I do want to say that I do genuinely believe what they said. I do believe this was supposed to be a lesson to Discord and its users. To my knowledge, the Discord GA owners don't have any monetary or beneficial reason to create the site. I think it was created to show Discord what they should change to prevent this from ever happening again, and to teach new Discord and internet users what phishing scams are. But either way, their website is now inactive and business is now as usual. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, you can sub to my channel and then go watch all my other videos because they're all incredible top tier content. You will not be disappointed. I make tons of different content right now, but hey, if this video does well, I'll continue to keep making content like this. So if you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to show your appreciation in some way or the other. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I also have a Twitch account you can go follow. I stream there every once in a while. I stream different games and reactions and whatnot. Actually, just the other day, I streamed my reaction to the Nintendo Direct in which Sans got revealed for Smash Ultimate. You can find that reaction on screen right there. I kind of lost my shit when I was reacting, so that's pretty funny. I'd say you should go watch that. And I'd say you should also um, go have a good day. I I'm, I'm serious. I'm going to try. If you don't have a good day, I'm going to go track you down.